Okay guys, so I decided to jump back on. I'm still in the process of the first stage of paint correction with the Jeskar um, correction compound. And I, I had something that I decided to do, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Plus I'll, uh, I'll share a little bit more on here with the, the three inch polisher. The, um, so I've been using, I, I did the first part with all the Griot's G9. That's the uh, five inch backing plate, uh, nine millimeter throw and this is the Adams SK Pro. So what I love about that Griot's G9 is it's light, number one, so it's easy to, when you're on the side of the car, I really don't get fatigued, and it, it has less vibration than, um, um, I guess, any posture that I've, I've ever used. I've never used a Rupes, like I've said before. So I like that about it, and I had ordered that and the Adams SK Pro 15 millimeter, and I had only tested it on one panel, each one, a very small piece, um, on the hood of our Volkswagen Jetta and, uh, and I decided you know what for the money difference I'm just gonna send the Adams one back even though I rathered it had a light on it which wasn't a big deal um, it, it had a longer power cord and it used the same cord as my um, three inch backing plate the smaller one so it would just been a little bit more convenient well I did just about this entire truck with the Griots and the only thing I don't like is, uh, I think it just lacks a little bit too much power. Um, it wants to stall out quite often compared to even this Adams uh, Mini right here. So what I decided to do, I had just bought that only about a week ago. So I went process the return for the Griot's one. I'm gonna send it back. And I just ordered the Adams again to give it another shot. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish what I have to do on this truck with it, but I'm, I'm switching back. Um, so, and I'm just gonna stick with the, uh, the Adams on there, because uh, it's still gonna be a good polisher. So, uh, I've been doing, um, so I, I did the roof, I did half the roof on the other side, did the entire hood, this whole side of the truck, the other whole side of the truck. The only thing I didn't do is the lower panel down here, which I'm using the three inch backing plate, the smaller polisher for, it's just a little bit easier to handle right there. Um, so I want to share just a little bit video of doing this with you. Plus I did this uh, piano black trim on the other side. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to do it with the perfect finish as well, but I just hit it once with the Jess car just to get it started. Cause this thing is, is scratched like crazy. And, uh, maybe I can show you in there. It's just, just some results. Now, the other thing I'm loving is this new scan grip light. So I'm going to put it up. It's a scan grip. So not even so much for the, the two temperatures, but it's built really sturdy. But this magnet right here on the bottom, this is awesome. So it's a magnet and you can turn this to, to sit it however you want. But the, now the truck's all aluminum and I wouldn't put it on the truck anyway, even if it, if, it, uh, if it was metal. But my detail cart that I've, you've probably seen before in some videos and that I've, I think I've put a link to, it's metal. So I sit it on the side of my detail cart with it on and it's shining on the panel while I'm polishing. And man, it's, it's worked pretty awesome. Now on this side, I have two big detail lights next to my mirror that's behind the camera here. So I have much more lighting on this side, but on the other side, it could be a little dark. So, uh, so this came in really handy, but I want to show you now, let's do this piano trim right here. I want to do that for you. So let me adjust the camera. Let me, let me just move some of this out the way. And I'm gonna bring the camera in closer. Now, what I don't know is if you can really see on here just how bad it is. I'm thinking you might not be able to see that. Let's see if I can move this up. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can see, hopefully you can see in there as I'm moving the light reflects. This thing is scratched out and swirled out so bad. So let me sit the camera back down and the top angle might be a little better. So I'm going to do this part. Yeah, this cord, I don't even need an extension cord with this 
Adams SK Mini, Pro Mini, because the cord is plenty long enough, so that's nice. So it's a $100 difference. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it for another one when I do the Carvette. I'm going to need it for my M3 because I'm about to do that next. So I'm going to get use out of it. But I'm actually, I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm enjoying doing this for this guy. So first thing, I'm gonna, so this has diff, different speeds, uh, one through six. So on the back of it right here, let me just get that to focus for you. So I, what I do is I start on level three, just kind of a, a medium to low speed, and I let it spread around and then I'm gonna kick the speed up. So you'll see that. All right, so let's just uh, get that started. Now that we're spread, I'm going to kick up the speed. And I'm going to let that just slowly work. I know you can't see the bottom, but I'm hopeful you can see the results after. So I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to go up and down. couple times and I'm gonna hit it with perfect finish when I come back and do the rest of the truck with that. Alright, you put this down. And you do get some dust in the windows, so that's okay. It's just kind of part of the deal in polishing. But man I tell you what, this works. This stuff works so well. That looks beautiful. That looks brand new. And it's gonna look even better after I put perfect finish on it. So I'm gonna bring this up here. And you might be able to see the left side. There's a little bit of polish on the left side too on what I've done and not done. But that right side looks way better than the left. Looks awesome. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. And I'm gonna do this side now. Over here. Just put a couple of dots on my foam pad. I'm gonna put my speed to three. And mm -hmm. just gonna spread it around first. And by the way, the green tape is definitely better than the blue. The blue leaves like a little glue residue almost that kind of wants to wipe around, but it still works. It's just not as great. They okay, kick it up to six. Controlled passes, you'll be fine. Take your time. I'm not really putting much pressure. I'm letting the polisher do its thing. The polish and the polisher. Now I always turn it off while it's still kind of hitting the vehicle. That's just a habit I've formed. I don't know if that's good or bad. Are you supposed to or not, or does it matter? Um, I just do it because if you pull it off too early, a lot of times that polish will just sling all over the place. 
and that perfect finish is going to clean up much better. But man, this looks awesome. That's probably better than what it was when it left the factory. It was probably all scratched up from the factory. And then the dealer and the car washes a couple of times, it really got it. But looks so good. All right. So I'm gonna move down onto the bottom, to the trim uh, on the bottom. And after I do that, I'm gonna be done with the first stage of paint correction. So be right back. Okay, while I'm right here, I wanna hit the mirror. So yeah, I could probably just do this with perfect finish, but I hit the other one and I'm gonna hit this one with a little Jess car. Um, and I used a blue tape around this edge. You can't really see it in the camera, but the blue tape kind of leaves some glue when you're wiping it off a little bit there. All right, and I don't use much of the correcting compound, just a little bit. And I'll try and stay out of the camera's way right here. This chrome looks really good, all cleaned up and polished. That's probably all it takes, just a little pass. And there's not it's, it's not painted anymore, you're not really correcting a whole lot. It just makes it like brand new though, man. It just pulls any further little scratches or decontamination because there are some nicks on there. And unfortunately, I don't know how you really get all that off. But whew, that looks so good when it's all cleaned up. because I'm gonna pass the perfect finish, the Sonex perfect finish on it, and then we are gonna ceramic coat these mirrors. Oh man, yeah, it, it got everything. That's, that looks so good. Hopefully you can tell that's like perfect mirror finish right there. This Jess car is so good, you could almost use it as a one step, but I'm, I'm gonna do two on the whole truck. See, so yeah, I really like this SK Mini, like I've said before. I could really do the whole truck with it if it wouldn't, that would take me forever just because it's so small. But I like it enough to be able to do the whole truck. Let's see if this makes a difference. Okay, you kind of see that light coming on there. So look, I'm gonna show you. See, this is a magnet. Like I said, it's magnetized to my cart and I could angle it whichever way I want or I can knock it off, but it's all rubberized and durable. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that and You'll be able to see if I can get it. The battery also lasts really long on this thing. Okay, there you go. So you can kind of see that it does give some light. And it just helps. All right. So let me try to, I might have to move the camera some, because uh, I don't want to be trying to block the camera. All right, let's see how we can see here. Hopefully you can see here good and nicely. Another tip, you might see, look, I always put the cord over my shoulder to keep it out the way. I've learned that from guys online cordless would be amazing, but it's just not there yet and the battery's not there. Okay, starting on speed three. Again, so I'm just gonna spread this around in a section. Stay away where 
where you could see. And we'll kick up the speed. Too much pressure, letting the polisher just do its thing with the jet car and let it correct itself. If this is a black vehicle, it might take more than one pass. You know, I mean, pass, you might have to wipe and check with your light and then you make another pass. This color, I mean, it wasn't swirled out bad. This color is kind of like silver, it, it hides a lot. Alright. Okay, we'll put this down. You know, for a correcting polish, this one wipes away really easy too, because a lot of them. They get, like I said, the Adams one, it's very grabby and dusty. It's almost like caked on. This one wipes away so nicely. And the perfect finish wipes away even easier. But it's nice not to have dust just all over the place. It makes everything so much cleaner. I don't have to worry about as much about it getting all over the, the trim on the truck. And it's okay if it leaves a little haze. A lot of times a correcting polish will. Can't really see it too much on this one, like I said. Um, but the perfect finish will clear that up. Sometimes you do get some cloudiness or some haziness from your correcting polish. Yeah, it looks really nice. All right, and I have a habit of touching the paint after because it's so good. Uh, it just, it feels so good. So, okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of the truck right here and that'll be it for stage one of paint correction, so. I will return.